Good morning and welcome to Hope for Today, our weekly devotional from Pennside Presbyterian Church to bring you hope during these challenging times. I'm Pastor Dave. Welcome. We'll begin with the Shaker hymn, Tis a Gift to be Simple, by David Cullen. David? Tis the gift to be simple, tis the gift to be free, tis the gift to come down where you ought to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, it will be in the valley of love and delight. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend, we won't be ashamed. To turn, turn, will be our delight, till by turning, turning, we come round right. Tis the gift to be gentle, tis the gift to be fair, tis the gift to wake and breathe the morning air. And every day we walk in the path we choose, tis the gift that we pray we may never come to lose. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend, we won't be ashamed. To turn, turn, will be our delight, till by turning, turning will come round right. Tis the gift to be loving, tis the gift best of all, like a quiet rain, it blesses where it falls, and if we have the gift, we will truly believe it's better to give than it is to receive. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend, we won't be ashamed. To turn, turn, will be our delight, till by turning, turning, we'll come round and right. Our prayer for this week comes from the Scottish theologian, William Barclay. O oh, Father, give us the humility which realizes its ignorance, admits its mistakes, recognizes its need, welcomes advice, accepts rebuke. Help us always to praise rather than to criticize, to sympathize rather than to discourage, to build rather than to destroy, and to think of people at their best rather than at their worst. This we ask for thy name's sake. Amen. Our reading from Holy Scripture is from Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42, the familiar story of Jesus, Mary, and Martha. Now as they went on their way, he entered a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks. So she came to him and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken from her. Always look for a rainbow after the rain. There is a silver lining within every dark cloud. If 2020 were a weather pattern, what would you choose? Category 5 hurricane? A nor'easter that drops two feet of snow on us? Or how about a massive thunderstorm that we can feel in the air as the heat and the humidity rise, those distinctive towering clouds rise above us, first white, but getting ever darker as the storm draws near? And when it comes, torrential rain, high winds, flooding, and perhaps even a tornado. Now, I should offer the full range of forecasts and include a sunny day and a gentle soaking rain, but I suspect those forecasts will get few votes. Last week, we had quite a thunderstorm. The sky was black. It rained cats and dogs. And when I arrived here at church, the clouds had parted. The sun was shining. 
and I saw a vibrant rainbow with all of the colors on display. A neighbor called out from his porch, that's quite a rainbow, isn't it? We took a moment and took in the view. What a gift. It's easy to focus on the negative about 2020 and all that we have lost due to the coronavirus, the impact it has had and continues to have on the quality of our lives. But this week, let us look for the silver lining in all of this, the rainbow after the rain. The story of Mary and Martha is a tricky one. Martha gets things done. She's a doer. And the mission of God to redeem this world gives us plenty to do. Feed the hungry, heal the sick, comfort the afflicted, work for justice, and promote righteousness. There's a lot to do. We need our Marthas. And we need our Marys, our contemplatives, our folks who take it slow, keep it simple, and focus. I submit that we live in a Martha culture a culture of go, 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 do, do, do. We call it the rat race, the daily grind. And it does take a toll on us. We burn the candle at both ends until we burn out. So I invite us, you and me, to hear Jesus speaking to us when he says, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part which will not be taken away from her. Better still, insert your name for Martha. David, David, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. Worried and distracted by many things. Wasn't that the state of our society, the pattern of our lives pre-COVID? Isn't a big part of the challenge of this time that we want to go, 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 and do, 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 but we can't. We want to be Martha, and we can only be Mary. Our world has come to a screeching halt, and now what do we do? We look for the rainbow after the rain. We trust there is a silver lining in every cloud. And I wonder if one silver lining is a decrease in the distractions. Of necessity, we have simplified our lives. We can't worry about what the future holds because who knows what the future will bring. We have this moment. We have right now. And because we are not worried and distracted by many things, we can be fully present. We can be more aware of the gifts we are being given. Gifts like that rainbow. Gifts like a walk Fluffy and I took on the Toon Trail in Gibraltar last week. Along the trail, someone had planted four butterfly bushes next to one another, forming a hedge of butterfly bushes. We have a butterfly bush at our home, but quite frankly, it's been a disappointment. Or has it? These four butterfly bushes were filled with yellow monarch butterflies. There must have been a dozen flittering about the bushes. At one point, two butterflies were flying right in front of my face. It was like I was in my own private butterfly preserve. As I kept walking, I thought to myself that it seems like I am seeing more butterflies this year, which led me to wonder, is it that there are more butterflies to see, or am I more aware of the butterflies around me because I am so much less worried and distracted? I think I am more aware. I think I am less worried and distracted, and I hope you are too. I hope that you can receive the gift of this slow and steady, keep it simple, one step at a time, one moment at a time, one thing at a time, this merry kind of time, and find within all the clouds a silver lining, a focus, and awareness, so that the gifts God is giving you don't flitter away but are received and cherished with a deep sense of gratitude. Thanks be to God for the rainbow after the rain. God help us to trust that with every dark cloud, there is a silver lining. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. Creator God, we praise you that when you made your covenant with Noah, you set a rainbow in the clouds. And every time we see that sight, we are reminded 
of your faithfulness. We are reminded that your promise is from everlasting to everlasting. We are reminded that in the midst of change and changing times and changing lives, your love is eternal and unchanging and unfading. Help us to trust in that love today. Help us in the midst of all of our challenges and our circumstances, all of our grief and loss. Help us, O Lord, to be aware of the gifts you are giving us in this strange time. Gifts of more time with family and friends. Gifts of more time to read and think. Gifts of more time to just simply slow down and be. Gifts, O Lord, that come from your hand, to be sure in the strangest of wrapping paper, but gifts nonetheless. Help us, O Lord, to be aware of these gifts, to be grateful for these gifts, and to receive these gifts. I ask this in Jesus' name, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The blessing this week is a blessing called For Presence by delightful Irish writer John O'Donohue. May you awaken to the mystery of being here and enter the quiet immensity of your own presence. May you have joy and peace in the temple of your senses. May you receive great encouragement when new frontiers beckon. May you respond to the call of your gift and find the courage to follow its path. May the flame of anger free you from falsity. May the warmth of heart keep your presence aflame and anxiety never linger about you. May your outer dignity mirror an inner dignity of soul. May you take time to celebrate the quiet miracles that seek no attention. May you be consoled in the secret symmetry of your soul. May you experience each day as a sacred gift woven around the heart of wonder. Amen. Thanks for watching. See you next week.